Equestrians. My name is Alyssa. I am on a quest to ride every breed and today we are going to meet the Stonewall Sport Horse. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. I'm heading to Rush Ranch in California where I'll be meeting up with Michael Muir. He's a lifelong horseman, great-grandson of the naturalist John Muir, executive director of a therapeutic riding program called Access Adventure, and he also happens to be the founder of my next breed for the quest. The name of the breed comes from my farm, Stonewall Stud, and Sport Horse because I breed them specifically to succeed in sport. We bred very carefully for soundness for all of the time that I've bred horses. Good feet are important to me. A big motor, a willingness to work, trainability, those things are what I work to create. And the color, the trademark color, is just something that fascinated me when I was little. And it was not fashionable when I was, you know, a young man and we, we didn't breed leopard horses then, but I never lost the fascination for them. And as I grew older, I thought, well, what the hell, might as well do what you like, as opposed to what other people think. And I stopped really breeding for a certain market and started to breed for what was my vision of what became the, the Stonewall Sport Horse. So were horses just always a part of your life? I was. Yeah, the day I was born, I had my first pony. He was sired by a son of War Admiral and out of a Shetland mare that was his stable companion at the racetrack. Nobody expected a baby to be born, and that was my first horse. Whoa! Half thoroughbred, half Shetland. So it was like literally full speed ahead for you from day one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I raised sheep in 4-H. When I was nine years old, I started doing that. and. When I was 12, I asked my dad if I might get a horse, and he said, yeah, that's all right. And so I sold some of my flock, and I bought my first mare, which was not a mare. She was pregnant and nursing a filly by her side and carrying a filly. I sold more sheep the next year, and so by the time I graduated from high school, I think I had 25 head of horses. I turned 18 and hit the road with my horses, and went all over the world with them. I've lived everywhere. One time I did a little short thousand mile journey from Louisville, Kentucky to the Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> uh, to Florida. I followed the path that my great grandfather took when he left Wisconsin and it was his first great wilderness adventure that he wrote about. It's it called A Thousand Mile Walk to the Gulf. And we followed his diary with our horse Stonewall Domino that's related to these here my friend Cindy in a wheelchair and our two dogs, and we drove that horse from Louisville to, to the Gulf of Mexico. That had to be an amazing journey. Yeah, very fun. So your great-grandfather has been an inspiration to a lot of us. What has it been like for you growing, growing up as his great-grandson? Well, I, I didn't know him. He was an older fellow when my grandmother was born, but I was raised as John Muir's great-grandson. He was a looming presence in our family. I read all of his books when I was little, and you know, we were inspired too, uh, but maybe in a more direct fashion. He was raised by a brutally strict father, a religious fanatic that, and as the oldest boy, he bore the brunt of a really, really harsh childhood. And he raised my grandmother with a much gentler hand. And, you know, he raised her to be free and to pursue her dreams. She didn't have any formal education until she was 17 and went to the Anna Head School for nine months. And then she was accepted to the University of California at Berkeley. And she raised her own children, including my father, with just a lot of encouragement to, you know, all of her children were different. They all pursued different goals in life. 
and that was fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that that had an effect on my dad encouraging me from a really early age. You know, I became really involved with horses from, you know, the time I was 12. So, and that was okay. Yeah. And then instead of growing up and being a banker or a lawyer, you know, it just, horseman was what it always was. Absolutely. And, you know, that was fine too. Yes. So I think of that as a gift from my great grandfather. Over the past 50 years, Michael has kept his favorite daughters from his favorite mares, resulting in the beautiful breed he has today. My quest horse is Stonewall Montalena. I'm heading out with Joe on Stonewall Samba to explore Rush Ranch. The ranch is over 2,000 acres. It's a working cattle ranch, an open space park, and the headquarters of Access Adventure. We have an all-volunteer organization that provides the care of the horses and the support for the work that we do for the people who come to learn how to drive or Third Saturday of every month, we have an open house here. We use horse-drawn vehicles that are wheelchair accessible and take people out, show them what we do. We do multi-day, you know, wilderness adventures, which are inspired by John Muir. We call it Anywhere Wild. Oh, wow, this view is so cool. You know, horses have played a big role in the quality of my life, living with multiple sclerosis, which I've had since I was 15. Um, so, you know, all this time of my career with horses has also been dealing with a pretty debilitating illness. And the horses have been the, the bridge that compensates for my lost function keeps me outside, keeps me focused on goals, and ultimately it became something that I wanted to share with other people in my situation where, you know, you often become isolated, housebound, you know, you don't get out, and you certainly don't get out in a beautiful place like this. Right. And the horses make that possible. And so that became, rather than a goal of prizes and medals and money, it, it became the highest purpose of the Stonewall Sport Horse, is to enhance the quality of life of people with disabilities and to make nature accessible to people who have mobility challenges. Thank you so much for riding along with me and discovering the Stonewall Sport Horse. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out Access Adventure if you're interested in learning more about their program. Happy riding, everyone.